Partial classes are a powerful feature in C-sharp that allows the definition of a class to be split into two or more files. This can be especially useful when working with large classes that contain many methods. By splitting the class into multiple parts, the code can be better organized and easier to navigate. You can now pause the video if you want to and take a look at the image, which lists the partial class's main features. In the tutorial, we will go over some of these features only with some examples. So let's start with the first one. In this example, the example class is split across two CS files, file1 and file2, which are shown side by side. We have two class files, file1 on the left and file2 on the right. The partial keyword indicates to the C-sharp compiler that the class is incomplete and that the rest of the class can be found in another file. Despite the class being in separate files, it will be compiled as though it were one single class. In larger projects involving multiple developers, the need to work on the same class can arise. Normally, if two developers are working on the same class, it could lead to conflicts when trying to merge changes. However, with partial classes, each developer can work on a separate file that contains a part of the class, avoiding potential merge conflicts. So let's take a look at another code snippet. In this example, two developers are working on the same shared class, but each of them has their own file. Developer1 is working on developer1 class file shown on the left, and developer2 is working on developer2 class file shown on the right. The two files will be combined into one class during compilation. As long as the developers are not working on the same methods, there will be no conflicts, allowing for smoother team collaboration. All partial class definitions must agree on the class level modifiers and accessibility. For instance, if one partial class is marked as public, all other parts must also be marked as public. If one part is abstract, all other parts must also be abstract, and so on. Here is an example to illustrate this. And in this example, both parts of the test class are declared as public, meaning they have the same accessibility level. If one of them were to be declared as internal or private, for instance, it would result in a compilation error because all parts must share the same modifiers and accessibility. The same applies to other class level modifiers such as abstract, sealed, etc. This was a quick tutorial about the partial classes in C Sharp. If you want to test your C Sharp knowledge, feel free to visit our website codeprepping.com where we have hundreds of interview questions with answers. Thank you for watching.